I'm Heather, the vegan massage therapist, the vegan MT, and I'm here today to talk to you about my vegan blood tests. Hopefully this video will turn out because I don't have my little um, headset with the microphone on it. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I wanted to get this video out and um, yeah, I think it's really important to show the world that vegans are not deficient, or sometimes they are. Depends on what you eat, as with all people, including meat eaters. Um, but I think the results will prove that I'm in better health than most meat eaters. Just the typical stuff is what I need to worry about. Um, so I'm in Fruta. This is Triangle Park, it's a little tiny park shaped like a triangle, and you can see the mesa behind me, it's beautiful, and that is Highway 50 behind me, and uh, yeah, so let's go over the results, hopefully you guys can hear me, uh, alright, I'm going to show you, okay, so first step, hopefully it's not too blurry or moving around. Um, everything pretty much is in range. Uh, glucose, blood glucose, 103. That's awesome. And it says somewhere else what the range is. Where is it? I can't remember what she said is okay, but that is good. Um, they don't even have a, a range for it, so 103, that's supposed to be really good. And I had fasted mostly, but I did have a little bit of OJ before this, before this test, before they drew the blood back in February 11th. So it's been five months. Things have changed probably a little bit. Um, as you can see right here, my iron is a little bit low. Uh, you need one, or 40 to 145. Mine is 23. And that is uh, pretty typical um, in vegans and vegetarians if they aren't trying to get extra iron. And uh, my lovely nurse practitioner printed out this cool little thing for me, iron in the vegan diet. And it says here, um, since vegan diets only contain non-heme irons, non-heme iron, vegans should be especially aware of foods that are high in iron and techniques that can promote iron absorption. Recommendations for iron for vegetarians including vegans may be as much as 1.8 times higher than non-vegetarians. And the reason is um, the non-heme uh, non veg uh, veg plant-based iron doesn't absorb as easily. And that's because uh, we already have heme iron in our body just like the animals do. That's why we can absorb it easier because it's the same material as what's in us. So, um, I thought this was, I already knew this, but, um, so this is pretty funny. You would have to eat more than 1,700 calories of sirloin steak to get the same amount of iron as found in 100 calories of spinach. Now, 1,700 calories of sirloin, that's like two giant steaks, like the size of this sheet of paper or something. It's huge, you know. That's a lot of steak. And that's a lot of fat. Artery clogging, saturated fat. Um, so, that's not the way to go to get your iron. Now, you can eat 100 calories of spinach. Now, granted, spinach doesn't have much calories, so that you're eating a good 
giant salad of spinach, but um, there's no other risk factors. Um, if you don't like spinach, if you can't squeeze it in your smoothies, which I have done a little bit and I need to do more of, obviously, um, there's lots of other vegan iron sources. And let me show you what they are. Okay. Soybeans are the highest. Blackstrap molasses. Lentils. I love lentils. Spinach is right below lentils. So if you don't like spinach, maybe you just need to eat more soybeans and lentils, tofu, enriched bagels, chickpeas, hummus, uh, tempeh, lima beans, black-eyed peas, Swiss chard, kidney beans, black beans, pinto beans, all of those are, I love and are very easy for me to eat. Um, I just need to do more of turnip greens, potatoes. Okay. High carb people should not have a problem getting iron if they plan right. And I haven't been, I don't do that all the time. Sometimes I'll just have a ton of fruit during the day and then I'll have a little veggie burger at night. So. I haven't always done raw tofu or even um, McDougal style perfectly. I still would um, do a little bit of the convenience food or the, the fast vegan food, um, like, you know, the veggie burgers um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to focus on having more, like, bean burgers instead of um, soy protein or pea protein. I'm going to try to get it from the whole food sources. And also, um, she reminded me, I already knew this, sorry if that's loud, um, that we want to make sure we eat uh, vitamin C with our iron because it increases the absorption of iron. So, broccoli, which is on this list, somewhere. It's a little bit lower on the list. Um, but that also has vitamin C in it, so that's a great one to eat um, often. And yeah, I could use more broccoli in my life. Thankfully, I like broccoli. Um, what else is on here? Potatoes, prune juice, quinoa, beet greens, tahini, Veggie hot dogs, iron fortified, peas. I love peas. Thank God. I love peas. Um, cashews, bok choy, bulgur.